Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have two different aquariums here. We've got one for Megan, and we've got one for Desmond. So I'm just going to kind of draw these two different aquariums. I'll just make them look like rectangles. And let's put a little bit of water in there. And so we'll make this first one for Megan, so I'll just put an M. And the second one is for Desmond. I'll put a D here. So Megan mixed five milliliters of a chemical solution with every gallon of water. So here we have a ratio, but it doesn't have a second number. So for every, that's going to mean one. So that's kind of a trick right there. It doesn't give us a second ratio right there. So let's put that right there. So there's three different ways that we can write ratios here. So we can write it five with the word two and then one. We can replace that two with a colon right there. It means the same thing. And then we could also use a fraction here. And so what I'll do is I'll put five milliliters ML. I always want to label it because when you start comparing them it becomes very important to make sure you know which unit you're talking about. So five milliliters to every one gallon. So let's see what Desmond did. Desmond mixed apparently the same chemical solution, but the ratio is different. So we've got eight to two. So eight milliliters to two gallons. And let's look at it a few different ways. Let's make that eight and then colon two. And let's put our units there, milliliters to gallons. And then probably the most useful is going to be this fractional notation. Because we get fractions. We know how fractions work. We might not know what the rules are with using the word two or using the colon right there. That might be a little bit strange. But once we get into a fraction, well, we've been looking at fractions in second grade. So that's going to be our easiest, our easiest thing right here. So what we need to do is we need to figure out which of these statements is true. And you notice how they're going to use this notation in some of our um, in some of our answers here. Not in all of them, but we're going to see it down in A and D. So what are we doing is we're looking at more, 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 more. Either Megan used more or Desmond used more, which means we're comparing. So we need to compare these two. And how do we compare these two? Well, it's kind of hard to compare with the word two, kind of hard to compare with the colon. But guess what? We know how to compare fractions. So let's look at comparing fractions. So we've got 5 to 1, and we've got 8 to 2. Well, one thing we can do is we can always compare fractions if they have the same denominator. They don't necessarily have the same denominator, but you should probably notice that 8 to 2 can be simplified. If you simplify it by 2's, guess what, 2 over 2, because you're going to divide by 1. So that's going to get you 4 to 1. So if we kind of ignore this part right here, we've got 5 to 1 and 4 to 1. We can compare those, because now we have the same denominator. You can also use cross multiplication if you want to. And we can do that in just a moment just to double check. But it looks like the 5 is going to be bigger. Now this 5 is Megan's. So we're going to get rid of these two answers here because our 5 is bigger than our 4 since the denominators are the same. And so we can say either A, Megan used more because 5 to 1 is greater than 8 to 2. That is correct. B, and Megan used more because 5 is greater than 2. Well, 5 is greater than 2, but that's not why. It's because the ratio was bigger, so our answer is A.